The date is August 17th, 2020, and we are at the Dublin Plain City Road Railroad Crossing in Kyleville, Ohio on the CSX Scotts Long Secondary. We are here today to catch CSX Q147, double stack traffic from Columbus, Ohio to North Baltimore, Ohio. There was a lot of buzz over this train from rail fans in this area, but we'll take an in-depth look of the train after it passes. Anyways, here's Q147. Leading Q147 on this day was a pair of GE AC 4400 CWs, number 391 and 308. But let's focus on 391 because this locomotive is special. Not only because the locomotive is in Y and 2, as we zoom into the cab on 391, we can see that it has a spirit decal on it. Specifically, 391 is the spirit of Dante. When CSX was purchasing some of their locomotives in the late 90s and early 2000s, CSX has decided to put these spirit decals on the side of the noses because these spirit decals represent some of the major hubs on CSX. And just to name a few, there's several others including Spirit of West Virginia, Spirit of Cincinnati, Spirit of Waycross, Spirit of Grafton, and so on and so on. So I thought this locomotive was a pretty good catch in the fact that it was also leading as well. Not only because it was in YN2, it was also a spirit engine and it was my first one that I would ever get to see. After that, we then moved to August 20th, 2020, and we are at the Central Ohio Model Railroad Club running our model trains. While I was taking a break from running my model trains, I went outside to see if there was any trains coming, and sure enough, there was one, and it was a Norfolk Southern Southbound coal train on the Sandusky District, led by a C44-9W and a shiny NSAC44C6M. After seeing that, we then moved to the very next day on August 21st, 2020, and we are in Berea, Ohio, near the famed Berea Depot restaurant. This is new rail fanning territory for me because this is the first time we've been here, and today was a really good day. So let's see what we got. Our first train of the day is a CSX mixed freight train heading eastbound on the Willard subdivision. As a side note, we're not going to hear many horns in this video in Berea, 
because there are no railroad crossings where we were standing, so the only horns we will hear today are from friendly crews. Our next train of the day is a CSX eastbound intermodal train on the Willard subdivision, specifically Q166, as evident by the CP power on this train. about to see what is a typical move on Q166, a mid-train DPU. In this case, it was a CP AC 4400 CW pushing in the middle.
this one, so I'm going to say they have the crossing. Oh, okay. Yeah. After Q166 slowly made its way through, the next train we will see is a Norfolk Southern westbound intermodal train on the Chicago line as it passes the former Berea Tower. I would later find out that this isn't our typical Norfolk Southern intermodal train. Towards the end of it, we can see a bunch of flat cars carrying large pipes on them. After the westbound passed, an eastbound intermodal train was able to sneak up on us on the Chicago line, with a nice addition trailing third, an EMD rebuilt SD70 ACC trailing behind the two dash nines. After the eastbound intermodal train passed, the Norfolk Southern Party continues with a westbound autorack train on the Chicago line, led by a solo ES-44 DC.
After the Autorec train disappeared around the curve, Norfolk Southern decides to send yet another eastbound intermodal train on the Chicago line. After the eastbound intermodal train cleared, yet another eastbound intermodal train approached on the Chicago line on Norfolk Southern. And this, my friends, intermodals on Norfolk Southern was basically the main theme of this trip. Within minutes since the passage of the Norfolk Southern Intermodal train, CSX makes its third appearance of the day by sending a westbound mixed freight train on the Willard subdivision, led by two AC4400 CWs in YN2 and an EMD GP38-2. As I turn around here, we see a pair of old Amtrak boxcars that are also on this train as well. I have reason to believe that business is picking up again because after the CSX train made its way through, another Norfolk Southern intermodal train makes its way through on the Chicago line heading westbound.
After another load of trailers and containers made their way through Berea, an eastbound Norfolk Southern mixed freight train made its way through on the Chicago line with four engines on it. As the train slowly passes here, we can see that part of the train consisted of a bunch of flat cars carrying these John Deere tractors. Within minutes after the eastbound freight train made its way through, yet another eastbound Norfolk Southern Intermobile train makes its way through on the Chicago line with an SD-70 Ace on the point. Southern Party continues as another eastbound makes its way through on the Chicago line, this time being a manifest train.
end of this train, it shows off its pair of mid-train DPUs towards the end. Next up was yet another intermodal train on the Norfolk Southern Chicago line, this time heading westbound, led by NS3625, the Blackface ET44AC. After that surprise CSX intermodal train made its way through, we not only come to the end of this video, we also come to the end of my extended summer break. And as you saw throughout the rail fanning frenzy coverage videos, and some of the videos after that, we got to see a lot of good stuff this year. And it was one crazy ride, that's for sure. Anyways, hit the like button down below, leave a comment and tell me what you think of it, subscribe to my channel, and tap the bell button to be notified when I get a new video out. Thank you for watching. This is All Ohio Rail Fan, signing out for the summer. See you soon.